Hi gang, Scott here. I've got some news for you about Haida's M10 filter system. There's some updates they've made to the system. I wanna share those with you. I think they're uh, subtle yet important and, uh, and very beneficial to those of us that like our filter systems and still want to have a nimble workflow in the field. Now I've been using the Haida M10 system a couple of years now, easy. I've done longer videos, full review of this filter system. I'll put a link in the show notes so you can go check that out, and as well as uh, some other reviews of specific filters they make. Uh, great optic quality, and what really sold me on the filter system, this M10 system, was uh, avoiding vignetting on my very wide angle shots, and just a more nimble experience in the field. Well, now they've updated this holder to the M10 Mark II, and it has a few features that are worth knowing about. Some you can pick out right away, others you might not notice, a little more subtle. But uh, I've got this system here, this M10 holder, M10 Mark II holder on this camera. And the first thing you'll notice is I take it off with just one hand. So I can work with just one hand. And there's uh, improvement in the little spring-loaded action here that they have on this particular new holder. And that makes for a more nimble workflow. If your other hand is occupied with something, holding a lens, doing something else, you can work with just one hand putting the filter rig on and off. And that's really useful. If you've got a bunch of dark glass on the front of your, your lens and you need to recompose or refocus or something like that, you can remove the filters, get your recomposition done, reset your focus point, all of that, and then put this entire set of glass back on with a single hand. That's a big improvement. Now, something else about the holder you'll notice right away is, you know, there's this little thumb screw here, this little tightening screw. So one of the features of the M10 system I like is within the ring, once this is mounted, the, it floats. You can rotate the, the angle of your entire filter system however you need. And that can be either to uh, quickly change a polarizer as opposed to using little rotation things. You can actually just rotate the entire rig to change the angle of your polarizer. Or maybe it's to avoid uh, a potential light leak situation if you've got two or three uh, other filters on, on the front of it. I should say one or two plus the drop in. And now you have this dial where you can just tighten it down and lock the angle. So once you've got everything dialed in, you can just tighten that thumb screw, lock that angle, and it's not going to change. There are a couple of other improvements to the M10 Mark II products that you might not notice at first. Uh, one of them has to do with the drop-in itself. So let me take this out here. And first is all of the drop-ins are now made with an aluminum alloy. Uh, some of the earlier ones, including ones I own, are made with a very firm, hard plastic. I've never had any problems at all with the strength of the material, but now it's even stronger made out of an aluminum alloy. But what I really like is just that they're labeled more clearly. So the silk screening on the drop-in itself I can clearly see that it says, you know, CPL or CPL 0.9. If you've got, you know, a, a combination polarizer and neutral density drop-in, on the older, earlier drop-ins, those labels are a little hard to read. And if you're working in a low light situation, like landscape photographers often do at the bookends of the day, sometimes it can be hard to read those labels in your filter bag. Uh, now it's very easy to see those labels. And there's one other improvement that has to do with the holder itself. It's where you would add your 100 millimeter glass, like your traditional square filter. So let me put the drop-in back in. The drop-ins, you know, they go behind the holder and then on the front, there are either one or two slide-in areas for 100 millimeter glass. Uh, do note that the holder comes in either a one or a two slot configuration. I advocate the two slots. Give yourself the flexibility if you need to add additional glass for any reason. You have it, you always have the drop-in, uh, and most of the time, admittedly, I'll have a drop-in, maybe one 100 millimeter piece of glass, but there are those occasions I want that extra slot, so uh, do, 
consider strongly the two slot configuration, especially if you're a heavy filter user. But what's nice about the newer slots for these 100 millimeter glass is they're just smoother. They've been redesigned, they're a little slimmed down. They really hold the glass in fine. I've had zero problems with any slippage at all on either the original M10 or the M10 Mark II. It's just a smoother experience. So there's little refinements that do make a difference in your field workflow. It's again, being, being able to be nimble, you know, able to slide a piece of glass out quickly, remove the entire rig with just one hand with the new spring lock, locking that angle when you've got things done. Hyde has done a very nice job at improving an already very, very good system with the M10 Mark II holder system. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Again, take a look at the broader review I did of the M10 system as a whole. All of that stuff applies to the Mark II. And if you're looking for a new filter system, take a strong look at the Hyda M10. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. I know I have been. Any other questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.